Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm Al the Blogger from AlTheBlogger.com. I got a special guest with me tonight for Money and Fame, D Bowles. Yes, yes. How y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? I'm about to turn up with y'all one time, let y'all know about some stuff about me, stuff about my label, you know what I'm saying? Just me music wise, what I'm doing and what I'm doing in the future. So I just want to turn in tune what I got to say and just listen to what I got to say and see what I'm on. That's it. <laughs> Let's get it. Now, um,. First of all, you know, we actually go way back. This is like last year, you were, you, you were with Money and Fame at the uh, Migos concert. Shout out, shout out to the Migos. Yes. Where you at now with your career? Uh, right now, bro, I'm actually just really just trying to make music. Like, like I've been making music trying to stay low key because it's like your first impression is your best impression. And like lately, like I've been making a lot of music, but it's like now it's time for me to put my shit out. And uh, so now it's like I'm y'all gonna see like what I've been doing. I got so much work. Where like even when I put my stuff out, I'm still gonna be putting music out, and I'm gonna be putting stuff on YouTube and everything. And I let y'all know about my YouTube channel, all that type of stuff later. But it's a lot of stuff that you know we got coming. You know what I'm saying? Going, but yeah. So basically, like we got, I got actually got a show coming up April 29th. It's like a little thing that I got uh, coming up. But really, I'm not really focused on shows right now. I'm really focused on just uh, business right now. Like, really, I'm really focused on just, like, my clothing line, trying to get stuff, like, really money. Like, I'm really trying to just focus on just making money and building my stuff up where I can go where I need to go. Because in this rap game, you need money. Like, you can't be doing music being broke. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of niggas is out here... You know what I'm saying? Doing music and they broke. Like, come on, like, <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, <laughs> you can't be broke, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just being 100. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not even telling you fucked up or nothing. It's just like I can't, I can't do it, man. Like, I, I, I like that's just 100. Like, it, it's like with this rap shit, I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna make money. Period. I don't have to, like if I never blow up, I'm gonna make money. Period. Cause my mom says to make money, so it's like. A lot of niggas just rapping, but ain't making no fucking money, ain't paying no bills, don't got no credit, don't got nothing. So it's like, I don't, I don't understand that, you know what I'm saying? So. And you mentioned something about Lil Bibby off camera. You wanna like let the audience know what you was talking about? Yeah. About the drugs and stuff like that? I feel like I respect Lil Bibby for uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like real shit, like I, I was looking at one of his interviews and shit, cause I look at everybody's shit, I really do like, I look at like, people in my state, Arizona, you know what I'm saying, Southwest, but I also look at like artists that's doing better than me, you know what I'm saying, that's on a whole different level than me. Cause they my competition to be honest with you, cause they're, they're at a level that I'm not right now. You feel me? So that's my competition, so that's what I'm looking at, so. You said Arizona rappers is, is, is your competition and that they're at the level that you're not at? Or no, just... I'm, saying, I'm talking about Lil Bibby, like the other rappers. I'm talking about other rappers like Drake. Yeah. Uh, like, I look, like I watch they stuff, but I'm saying I, look, I watch local rappers money from my state, but I'm saying I look at like, people that's better than me. That's like, like you know what I'm saying? That's on top. Like Drake, the Jay Z's, the fucking Kendrick's, the you know, Jay Cole's. And even the young niggas, like little, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't the biggest fan of them niggas, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But <laughs> they, you know what I'm saying? But they out here, they making their money. My nigga, Lil Uzi Vert, they, they, nigga, Lil Yachty, they, they making bread, nigga. Like you can't hate on that shit, Lil Twenty One Savage. You feel me? He even got a little, he even got a little villain called 21, 22 Savage. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm a man. Like this shit crazy, man. Oh, man. So between Drake, Kendrick, J Cole, Jay Z, um, who out of those four, who would you like say is your like your Somebody who who's your influence as a rapper? The only influence and rapper I have is Tupac. Tupac? Tupac Shakur. That's my favorite rapper. That's like that's that's like I like Drake. A lot of people say why well, I like Drake because I, I ain't saying he's a rapper, he's an artist. That's what y'all get. He rap and sing, that's why. He raps and sing, he's an artist. You feel me? Did you hear Kendrick's new um um song called Humble? Y'all heard that. It was cool. How you feel about it? It was cool, like Kendrick. Kendrick got that that shit that everybody like. You can never hate on Kendrick. Like he, he's up there. That's the, you know what I'm saying. He gonna be like he's like the low key like the two kind of Tupac of our like generation. You know what I'm saying? Like he really is low key. So you always gotta give him respect every time. Like you gotta give him respect. So you gotta give him. So because he friendly. he dissed people say he dissed Big Sean and he dissed um Drake in that song. Right. And it's like it, it just woke woke everybody up again, like he did with Control in you know 2013. Yeah, too. Because rappers technically it's a competition. Everybody want to be the best. You know what I mean? Even me as a journalist, I want to be the best journalist. Like I want to be the best reporter. So we all competing in life. It seems to be like everything. I'm gonna tell you something real quick. I feel like 
And it, like I'm telling you, period. I'm, I'm gonna tell you my state, Southwest, because that's that's where I go. Like it ain't about putting. On, be honest with you, people can take this, hate it or love it. It's not about putting my state on. It's really not. It's about putting the world to hear my shit. It's really about pe the people knowing that I came from Arizona Southwest. That's where I came from. But I'm my own man. I do my own thing. I do shit the way I want to do it. You feel what I'm saying? It's not really about putting the state on. It's really about me doing my thing. Where they like he worked hard, he did it, and he came from Southwest. A nigga that worked hard and got and grind and, and did that shit. That's what I'm trying to do. So how you feel about Arizona rappers? Shit. <laughs> I really feel like this. I feel like niggas think they got a little money and they think they can rap. That's how I feel. I feel like, a, I, and I'm a, and, and I'm not saying no names. I know a lot of niggas out here in rap. Like I, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like I, 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 I'm gonna talk about this later. But I know a lot of people, and I feel like a lot of people think they got money and cash, and think that money and cash think you're a rapper. Just because you got money and cash, I mean you're a rapper. This niggas, that don't that don't make you a rapper. That makes you a businessman, okay? But that don't mean you're a rapper. So it's a lot of niggas that's that's really not rappers. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Not rappers. Y'all just making money. It's like, cause I be seeing, like I told you, like I see somebody with a nice car in their driveway, and then they pull up to an apartment. Like you, you be, you'll see like a Bentley at an apartment. Like yeah, it don't like, add up. It. It's like this. Like, man, like, I can get so deep, man. Like I'm gonna get deep, like with y'all real quick, man. Like, cause I was supposed to talk about my like my other shit, but like it's like this industry shit, like real shit. It's like. Everything is a front. Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to, like, say nothing. Like, like everything, like, y'all see, like, even these rappers and shit, like, especially if you sign to a label. If you sign to, if you really sign to a deal, like, you don't, like, I'm not trying to be fucked up. It's like a lot of, a lot of niggas don't understand about, like, a lot of rappers. I don't even want to say, like, niggas from here, this niggas has been signed. You feel me? Like, a lot of niggas from that's here? been, that's yeah. It's been niggas that been signed, like, Willie Norpo. Uh, niggas. Had, like, one song, though, Yeah, one song. And, and, I, and, and I ain't gonna lie. A lot of niggas hate on Willie North Pole, and I and I'm not gonna hate on him. I'm not gonna cause I don't know him like that. And I ain't saying and I ain't the biggest fan of, but he got signed. A lot of niggas didn't get signed. I ain't saying and he probably didn't do as much. And then people are like, well, you know what I'm saying? He did something. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people don't like to give people credit, and you gotta give him credit for doing what he did. And but he not the only one. Like you gotta think about before Willie, it was my my dad had a label called Survivalist that was actually an independent label. By themselves, my dad was running by himself, and they they actually looking them up right now. Sold the most out of anybody out here, so like twelve thousand copies, and, and I'm talking about like, and, and that's not that much, but that's more than anybody done. We're like out here, period. I'm talking about it was on billboards, they had stuff they they done so so it's like it's a lot of stuff you can look up on YouTube and look up do a lot of research like this uh, Arizona like hip hop. It's like a real history. It's a lot of shit that y'all y'all don't even if y'all don't know y'all gotta look y'all history up. It's a lot of like dudes that came before us that you know what I'm saying that set a trend. It's like we gotta keep that shit going. Like don't go with the trend that everybody else is doing. Like niggas gotta come with something different. Like you can't be on no Chicago shit. You can't be on no oh some um Drake shit trying to sound like uh the uh trying to, you know what I'm saying like. Trying to sound like just anything part party next door. Like don't don't try to sound like all these like rappers. Do your own shit. Like and don't think of it as money. Think of it as a, it's you. And I don't give a fuck what nobody think. And have a mindset where you're doing music, but you're making money. Your mindset is already to make money because if you're making money, the, it don't matter about your music. You gonna you gonna love making music. You're like I don't care if it's sell or not. So I'm gonna keep making my music. Eventually, people are gonna eventually like your music if you keep putting your stuff out and working hard. They're gonna eventually like your shit. That's just anybody like niggas like two chain like niggas don't understand about two chains that nigga uh, two chains was signed to uh, you know what I'm saying Little Chris and them he didn't do nothing you know what I'm saying they you know what I'm saying he, but you know what I'm saying he, he had a whole different name uh, left them bro changed his whole identity bro two chains everything titty you know what I'm saying titty boy you know what I'm saying two chain and look you know what I'm saying he older but look he making bread two chains is still going hard still two two chain he still got that fire you feel me so. Yeah, a lot of these like new school rappers, like I, I keep name dropping these dudes a lot, but it's just a prime example. Like the Twenty One Savages, the uh, Uzis, the Lil Yachty's, they famous right now. But is it gonna last? Is the buzz gonna last? Rather yeah. than like you just said, like you wanna you wanna be famous, but you wanna get your numbers on YouTube, but you still wanna have money in your account. You wanna make six, seven figures. So a lot of these dudes, even when they sign, it's like that three sixty deal. Like they sign, but then they just they get fucked over and then. They careers like you know go down the drain from there, and that's and that's another problem. Like, see the thing is, like I'm signed to like you know somewhere money and fame, like you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Macho's like my manager and shit. You feel me? But at the same time, it's like it's not like no deal where it's like 
fucking oh three mixtape or oh, three albums this and that it's like more like it's a we're an independent label right you know what i'm saying but like when you sign to a major label they can come at you like hey we give you a hundred thousand you know what I'm saying? You take the hundred thousand, you think you own like niggas like, oh, you sign, you own. You start spending money like you a celebrity, like a motherfucking big dog. You broken like a motherfucking six months, and you like, damn, well, shit, my hundred thousand is gone. You better hope your album do good, because if your album don't do good, all the stuff they do for your videos, all the stuff they pay for your shit, you gonna have to owe them back. So it's like a loan, like it's they really give you money up. and then they you gotta pay them back. Up. Yeah, they got they can get you locked up. They can get you locked up in a deal. They 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 got contracts where like you. Where you can't even get out the contract. They got they got rappers where they can sign you where they don't even let you even drop a rap like a, a track. Don't let you drop. Oh, I don't want you to make this type of track. Or they, and and that's the reason why they signed you. Make you making that type of music. But then when you sign them, you making that hot fire. Oh, oh we not feeling that. We don't want to put that on. It's like you know, you can he can he name any labels like that? Shit, I can't really. I don't want to put them out. You know what I'm saying? I'm out trying, to, but you know what I'm saying? Like I'm. A, I, I can't really. All right, look, Birdman. Mm -hmm. Birdman signed in 2012, signed like a hundred some artists, like a lot of artists. Yeah, like a lot in of. In 2012, he signed a hundred yeah, artists. Yeah, like a lot. He had a bunch of artists. He's like art, like a, a bunch. There's no um no limit on how many artists can be on your on your on your name, like a uh, label. You can sign a bunch, you know, so you can sign people. You know what I'm saying? Put like little deals. You know what I'm saying? Little stuff, or uh, and and it can be a myth, but even with Birdman, like he get like I don't know if it's a hundred, but whatever. But even with him, he got people. He got a lot of people that signed under him that he don't. Don't drop or you know what I'm saying. Don't you know what I'm saying? Or niggas hate like you gotta understand like any major label like you understand even like laid back music like you got Wale you got Meek Mill but you got other niggas that's on there like Stally or Marion yeah but they ain't really like like Marion has, has little yeah you, you know what I'm saying Mark but you know what I'm saying it's like you know what I'm saying it's it's whatever but what I really want to talk to y'all about is me we been talking about all these fucking rappers man I don't give a fuck about y'all. And I'm gonna be 100. I don't give a fuck. I'm about me. I'm about making my money. I don't give a fuck. And that's just 100. Much you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's just 100. So, but basically, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this uh, they don't even know, but put this track on. When I get done, I'm gonna put this track on. But no, no, y'all, real shit though. I gotta drop something, bro. A lot of people be like, man, bro, you need to drop your mixtape, bro. You need to drop something, bro. And I and I got I'll be having music and shit, and I've been doing for a minute. It's like I gotta do it. So I'm about to do it, bro. Like I'm gonna drop my shit and my shit gonna be hot. I'm gonna tell you that. And I don't give a fuck what nobody say because like I said, it's not about putting A Z on, it's about the world here, my music. And it's about them knowing that I came from Southwest. You feel what I'm saying? So this is how it is. You think you would collab with Arizona artists though? Yeah, hell yeah! I most definitely uh, I'm, I I done it already. You know what I'm saying? Like, like right now, I'm about to start charging. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, I'm not doing no more free shit. I'm I'm gonna let y'all know that right now. I'm gonna start doing like I'm gonna let y'all know right now. Yeah, I'm I'm just being one hundred. I'm being one hundred. It's gonna be like two fifty for a hook, and it's gonna be three fifty for a verse. <laughs> So that mean all together, I'm being 100. I think I'm playing. I'm not playing. My shit, my my music is is, is like my. I think I got my own sound. I got my own. I'm 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 my own person. I do my own music. I don't need a group. I make my own music. You feel me? Who so. would be your first major feature? Like major, like somebody who's already known, like nationally or worldwide. Who would be your first major feature? I don't know. It would probably be like low, low key. It probably be like a a real like trap nigga that been through some shit. I don't know, and, and, and like nah, I can't not Gucci. Probably like uh, I'm gonna tell you some niggas I actually like. Like I don't know, like fucking not Migos. I can't do Migos. I, I'm trying to think who who would I want on my shit. Um, Kevin Gates. Nah, not Kevin Gates. <laughs> I like Kevin Gates. They good. Like I'm not, I'm saying for like for me, like who I who I think that was a sound cold on my shit. Like just kill my like damn that nigga was cold as fuck. Like. I low low key, you know who I want to make a song with who? my nigga Quavo. Oh Quavo. Quavo. I, I yeah, I, I I was thinking about like I'm saying by himself like yeah I, I fuck the Quavo. Well, his hook is his, his hook, hook is cold and, and we and we and we can make some cold but like I'm thinking but like real shit though he got he got some, I ain't gonna lie he got some shit but uh 
That's lit, bro. Like, yeah, he really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he got some shit. So I, I, I most definitely uh, fuck with Quavo. But, uh, man, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I'm trying to, y'all niggas need to fuck with Chip Z slow motion. That's what I'm saying, out, out of Southwest, you feel me? Niggas out here, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We got to we gotta get this shit popping. That's all I'm saying. And it's all about the music and shit. I'll let y'all hear that at the end. But I got music and shit that just cold. And uh, I got my, you know what I'm saying? My nigga, I got to, my nigga want me to shout him out. You know what I'm saying? My, I call my nigga Jay Crappin', but my nigga Zone, you know what I'm saying? That's his right name, Zone. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, I'm going to drop that nigga, you know what I'm saying? He got some shit that's hot right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to actually let y'all play. So, that'd be, you know what I'm saying, cool. But, uh, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? We got that shit going. And then my clothing line, like, and, th and this shit takes, I do this shit by myself. Y'all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a real rapper. Like, like, I'm a real businessman. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I make money. I do make money. But when you do shit by yourself, it's like, it's harder. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not easy when you do shit by yourself. Like, if you paying for hats and clothes, like, if you got to start your own clothing line, right? And you got to buy socks and shit, hats, shirts. That's money in my pocket mm -hmm. for y'all to buy. That's that's me putting it, love into my shit you for me to pay. Though. Yeah, for me to even do that. You know what I'm saying? Like even just my just me thinking of shit like that. So even my label and shit like my my nigga that I fuck with like my nigga's on like he got his shit. But it's like just everything I'm doing like and I fuck with niggas out here. I fuck with every like I fuck with everybody. Like you know what I'm saying? I just do my own thing, my nigga, because everybody got their own way of doing their own thing, and it's like I'd rather not have no conflict. I'd rather just you feel me? I'd rather just let me be mean and let them be them. Yeah, that's just 100. So. I feel you. Um, 